Buzz, fantastic win, four from four. I tell you what, you must be dreaming going into the break. Uh, yeah, no, good time to have a break. I'll be uh, definitely enjoying a beer tonight after that one. Um, I just said to the players, I think we talked in the week, and I was probably a little bit hard on the players in the week. Um, sort of had to apologise for a little bit today, but it's just because they don't want us to sort of settle for for being okay. And this game was never going to be won on on you know loads of little tip passes and you know really pretty rugby. It was going to be won on grinding it out. I think you know we've got massive respect for Cornish Pirates. Um, I think they're a really physical side, they're a really doggy side. Um, and I think they coached really, really well. So we knew it was going to be about probably grinding it out. I think the you know the tough part, or the, probably the winning the winning factor for me was when we were um, down to 13 and we ne we nearly came away with Scott at the end of the field. Um, and that was probably that getting through that period without conceding was probably was was massive testament to the players and the heart and the desire they showed. Uh, we've talked in all the four games so far this season about how in patches you look really good, but one thing that has been consistent throughout is that uh, that character, that willingness, and that yeah. to get over the line in abundance again today. Yeah, no, like I said, I think um, we try and talk a lot as coaches and as players is that that you know energy, enthusiasm, physicality. Whilst you play at Doncaster, that should be an absolute given. And you know, uh, whilst whilst I'm here and, and and the rest of the staff are here, it's something that we want to drive and. It's quite easy to drive with this group because, um, like I said, they they like it, um, and um, I think they showed that in abundance today. You know, coaching the, the errors and the skill stuff, and the you know an intercept or a miss pass and timing that's that's on the coaches. But the rest of it, they bring it and and they won the game. I think big games like this are won by coaches, they're won by players, and I think the players massively won the game today. I think now you'll answer this, but obviously four wins from four now. Starting to look ahead to what could happen at the end of the season if you keep going? No, I think, uh, look, I don't. Um, I think you look too far ahead, you soon get shot in the foot. Um, you know, I think um, the biggest thing that we need to concentrate on now is I just told the players that they need to go away, they need to have a beer tonight at home. Okay, um, they can have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten beers tonight at home. Okay, yeah, um, but they need to sort of mentally regroup and, and, and have a break. It's been quite tough, we've obviously. You know, we've been going through lockdowns and in start dates. This, and I think this week off's come at a really good time from just to stay at home. You know, do a bit of home training, um, and then and then come back ready to go and rip in uh, when we're back. And uh, like I said, we'll, we'll we'll focus on that week when we come in. Um, but yeah, let's not take too too hard. You know, too too carried away. I said at the end of the day, we've won four games, and they've all been pretty tight. And I think two or three of them have been one point scores. So. You know, at the moment it looks like we won four from four, but you could be saying I'm the worst coach in the world right now, and we could be one from three. So let's not keep our feet on the ground. Definitely, anyone saying that. Congratulations, Steve. Cheers. That.